Hello everyone, in this video we will solve a nice math Olympiad question x plus 3 whole to the power 6 is equal to 2 to the power 6 we will find out what is the value of x in this exponential expression now here is exponent is same so you can see the base is equal so x is equal to negative 1 this is our final answer but x to the power 6 we will find out here is the x answer it's okay let's start first of all I can see the our question it will be x plus 3 whole to the power 6 and if you move on this 2 to the power 6 in this side it will be negative 2 to the power 6 now in this expression you can see the x plus 3 whole to the power 6 it will be x plus 3 and whole to the power 6 it will be 2 times 3 or 3 times 2 you know that 3 times 2 it will be 6 minus 2 to the power 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is also 6. Now, I can see easily here is x plus 3 whole to the power 3 and bracket. I take this 2 here inside the bracket minus 2 to the power 3 and I take this 2 here. At this moment, you can see easily it will be if you think this is a, this is b, so a square minus b square. So, you know that a square minus b square, it will be a plus b times a minus b. According to this law, I can see easily this expression, it will be a plus b times a minus b. So, x plus 3 whole to the power 3 a plus b times a minus b. And here, x plus 3 whole to the power 3 minus b b is 2 to the power 3 so we'll find out here is two case first of all i can see our first case is equal to 0 and other case is equal to 0 so our first case it will be x plus 3 whole to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 is equal to 0 and other case we'll find out here is x plus 3 whole to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 3 is equal to 0. Now at this moment I can say that this is a this is b so you know that a cube plus v cube it will be a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square according to this law I can say that this expression it will be x plus 3 and plus v v is plus 2 and times and a square i mean here x plus 3 whole to the power 2 minus a b i mean 2 times this value it will be 2 times x plus 3 and v square I mean 2 square here is 2 square b is 2 so it will be 4 then here is 0 now at this moment i can say here is x plus 5 times and it will be a plus v whole square it will be s square plus 2ab i mean 6x plus b square 3 square it will be 9 minus twice x and minus 6 plus 4 is equal to 0 then i can say this expression x plus 5 times and here x square and 6x and this is negative 2x i can say that it will be 4x plus uh, 9 plus 4 it will be 13 13 minus 6 it will be 7 so I take here is 7 is equal to 0 now I can see really here is two case again our first case is x plus 5 is equal to 0 and other case we will find out x square plus 4x plus 7 is equal to 0 so you can see really here is x is equal to minus 5 this is the value of x1 and here x is equal to negative v plus minus square root b square minus 4 ac over 2a then you can see really here is x is equal to minus 4 plus minus square root v square i mean 4 square minus 4 ac over 2a a is 1 now here you can see here is x is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root 16 minus 28 over 2. Then this expression here is x is equal to minus 4 plus minus 
and it will be negative 12 yes minus 12 over 2 then if i evaluate this expression i can see it will be x is equal to minus 4 plus minus and it will be 2 square root 3 and negative 1 it will be i over 2 then if i divide this will this below where find out it will be minus 2 plus minus square root 3i this is the complex solution so we'll find out x1 is equal to negative 5 and obviously x2 it will be minus 2 minus plus square root 3i and x3 it will be minus 2 minus square root 3i this is the value of x1 x2 and x3 but x4 x5 and x6 is equal to what so in this expression i consider here x plus 3 whole to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 3 is equal to 0. so you can see here i use other space a cube minus b cube so we know that a cube minus b cube it will be a cube minus b cube a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square if i follow this law i can see that it will be x plus 3 minus b b is 2 and it will be a square i take this a x plus 3 whole to the power 2 plus a b 2 times x plus 3 and v square i mean 2 square it will be 4 is equal to 0 then i can say that here is x plus 1 because of that 3 minus 2 will be 1 and here is x square plus 6x plus 9 a plus b the square a square plus 2ab plus b square then here twice x plus 3 times 2 will be 6 plus 4 is equal to 0 now here is x plus 1 times and uh, here x square plus 6x plus twice x i can say that it will be 8x okay and 4 plus 6 plus it, it will be 19 so i take here is 19 is equal to 0 so again we'll find out two equation uh two case or first case x plus 1 is equal to 0 now this case it is a nice quadratic equation x square plus 8x plus 19 is equal to 0 <coughs> now you can see here is x is equal to minus 1 so we'll find out x4 it will be negative 1 but at this moment x5 and x6 is equal to 1 so it is a nice quadratic equation you can see easily a is equal to 1 v is equal to 8 and c is equal to 19 then you can see easily here is x is equal to minus p plus minus square root v square minus 4 ac over 2a and if i apply this law here so we are finding out x is equal to minus 8 plus minus square root v square i mean 8 square minus 4 times a times 19 over 2a i mean a is equal to 1 then here x is equal to minus 8 plus minus and it will be square root 64 and 4 times 19 it will be 76 over 2 times 1 it will be 2 then you can see here is x is equal to minus 8 plus minus square root minus 12 over 2 then i can say here is x is equal to minus 8 plus minus it will be 2 square root 3i over 2 you know that is square negative 12 but it will be 2 square root 3i then this divide this it will be x is equal to minus 4 plus minus 2 to cancel out it will be square root 3i this is our other final answer i mean here is x5 and x6 thank you all if you enjoy this video to subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care